Hello everyone, welcome back again to my channel and for today's video it is going to Hey guys, sorry to interrupt but I'm about to say in this video that this is an October box and it is an October box, the same as in the title but it is November already. I'm so sorry I got so backed out with my schedule. My husband and my Olivia got sick so everything just got backed out because mom life is life and wife life is lifer, you know what I mean? So for that, I am so sorry. Let's go back to the video. To be an unboxing box from my October boxy charm, and you know the drill with that, I also also do a makeup tutorial style with this where I also chit chat and just talk about makeup and talk about life and anything under the sun. So if you're new to my channel, hi, welcome to the club. My name is Lee and Jael and I make beauty videos, vlogs, makeup tutorials, makeup reviews here on my YouTube channel. Welcome to the family. Subscribe if you haven't already. Without any further ado, if you want to see how mama got this look using the products for this month's box, just keep on watching. So here is the box and the theme of the month is alter ego it's very smoky-ish and very dark and we have five full-size products i kind of miss it when they used to have five full size and plus one travel size makes me feel a little bit much more important than just having five full-size products you know first i'm gonna do my base and that is starting off with my nivea men post shave balm you all know I love this moisturizer. Keeps your makeup intact. And then next to that is we're gonna prime it on top of the moisturizer. And this is the Infallible Matte Pro Matte Lock by L'Oreal. If you're so oily, this is the primer for you. Okay, so the first thing inside the box that we're gonna try on is this eye face palette right here. Here. This one right here is the Pure Complexion Authority Midnight Masquerade Palette. This one right here costs $38. This palette right here seems small, but it's actually very big on the inside. There's some stuff for your face and there is some stuff for your eyes. And it's got a pretty mirror. For me, this palette is... So we're gonna prime my eyes first and we're gonna prime it with my Soft Ochre Paint Pot from MAC. The reason why I'm doing my eyes first is because I don't know if this formula right here is powdery and I don't want to mess up my foundation, you know, because I want to look cute tonight. I got a date. <laughs> I'm kidding. I don't have a date. So I'm going to get this Moda Pro BMX 430 crease brush and I'm going to dip my brush in that sneak peek brown. It's powdery. So we're just gonna concentrate that on our outer V-line and then do circular motions. And then I'm gonna slowly drag it all the way to our crease. We're gonna do the same thing on our inner eye corners. So far, I'm not having any problems with fall-offs on my face because sometimes even powdery eyeshadows do not really mess with your face. It's weird, I know. It's actually blending really well, so I love that. I'm just gonna get a transition color from my Grind NYX palette. I'm gonna get this shade right here, this yellow mustardy, and we're just gonna blend everything out. Then I'm gonna try to concentrate that sneak peek powder even more. Get a much tapered brush. This is the Morphe B38. Next to that is we're gonna cut our crease. I'm gonna use this Maybelline Master Concealer. And then I'm gonna get that mask off and I'm gonna spray some Fix Plus on my shader brush. So I'm gonna highlight my brow bone area using this Twilight shade right here, using my Fancy Fan brush. I don't see it. Let me spray some Fix Plus. see it now just needs a little bit of a kick 
the highlight has a lot of fall offs. I really like how this eye look turned out, even though I only used three eyeshadows. Can you believe that? So I'm going to try to use a new foundation today, which is from Koki Cosmetics, and this is their Skin Perfect HD Foundation. This is in the shade 80W. This is a medium coverage with a natural finish. Mm, I like that. I like that. It is not matte. As you can see, I am glowing. I mean, it's fall, so it's okay. For summer, this would be a disaster for me just because I have oily skin. Next is I'm going to conceal with my Master Conceal by Maybelline. This is in the shade Light Medium. So I'm gonna set my eyes using the Maybelline Fit Me Loose powder in the shade 20. I have been neglecting my RCMA No Color powder because of this. Then I'm gonna get my next no filter finishing powder in the shade golden. You know the drill with that. Next to that is we're gonna go back to that palette and we're gonna mix Hidden Secret and Enchantment as our blush. Just mix the two together. That is too pink. The next is we're gonna bronze our face first using the Milani Multitasker Face Powder in the shade Dark Tan. Look at that pimple, like, dude, what are you doing there? You are not invited in this party at all. Like, I don't even remember sending you any invites. Did you even do any RSVP? Like, hello, you are not welcome in here. Next to that is we are gonna set our face using the This Lick by Urban Decay. Then we're gonna highlight our cheeks using Twilight. I'm gonna use a Cara Beauty brush. that that looks so pretty next to that is i'm gonna grab this morphe y18 brush i'm gonna go back to the grind palette from nyx and get this mustardy yellow right here then i'm gonna get a pencil brush and go back to that sneak peek then after that i'm gonna go back to twilight and highlight my inner eye corners I feel like this highlighter always needs some fix plus. It's too dry. Like, see the difference? Then I'm gonna grab this It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. And this one retails for $24. It's a pretty big mascara. Look at that. It's got a good brush to it. Ooh, do you see my lashes? got a really really nice brush to it so i love that i actually like this mascara and i'm gonna use these tatty lashes in the model 24 i am loving these lashes next in the box is this kat von d everlasting liquid lipsticks and this is 20 dollars and this one is in the shade bow and arrow this lipstick right here is tried and tested it's a very very good liquid lipstick Next in the box is this little guy right here. This is mineral hand cream and it says on the side water. This little guy right here retails for $10 and it's got 40 ml in it. It actually smells nice. I love it. This hand cream is really, really nice. I love the texture of my palms right now and it smells so good. And last but not the least is this little guy right here. This is from Brio Geo and they've had this brand a couple of times, well, a bunch of times in BoxyCharm here in there and now and then and this one right here is the don't despair repair strength plus moisture leave in mask and this one retails for 16 dollars uh spray throughout freshly washed and damp hair well i can't use it right now because my hair is not down like <laughs>
Okay, so we're gonna go through all the products. First one is the It Cosmetics Superhero Elastic Stretch Volumizing Mascara. Really impressive. It did lengthen my lashes, but I don't think it's volumizing. It didn't clump it up in a volumizing way, but I'm liking it so far. So I'm gonna try it even more to see if that mascara is worth 24 bucks. Next is the Ahava, Ahava Dead Sea Water Mineral Hand Cream. This thing is freaking awesome. I'm gonna have to buy a bigger version of this because I really, really love it. I love the smell. It's so clean. I love how my palms feel and my hands feel. It's very smooth and I didn't use much. My hands feel so awesome right now. So I love this bad boy right here. Next is this Pure Complexion Authority Midnight Face Palette. This one right here costs $38, which I think they're very reasonable for that you get a mirror you get something for your face and you get shadows for your eyes so i think this palette right here screams semi-complete something like that it is pretty powdery some people get turned off by that it didn't really bother me that much like i didn't felt like oh that's so powdery i'm really having a hard time working with this formula right here i didn't have that problem for me the powdery part kind of fades away in the air because i love the pigment it's blendable i mean as you can see right here i only used two shadows for from this palette i love how pigmented it is but at the same time it's very blendable as you can see i do recommend this palette although the pink blush this one right here be careful using this this is pretty intense it's kind of hard to blend once it's there but the other shades are really really nice i love this one right here i used it more to tone the pink down and i love the outcome of the blush and this highlight right here although it's a little dry for me i feel like it always needs that wedding kick for you to really see the the glow in it for you to bring out the best in this highlight right here is to always wet your face with your brush with a setting spray or fix plus so last but not the least is this Kat Von D everlasting liquid lipsticks I love this this has been one of my favorite favorite liquid lipsticks of all time it's a very thin formula you don't even feel like you're wearing any lipsticks at all it's so comfortable the pigment is there I feel like the quality of this liquid lipstick just justify the $20 for it I love the packaging. This has been one of my favorites for a very long time. So I really recommend this. If you haven't had your hands on this one right here, why though? These two products right here, I was actually surprised that it's in the box because it has been a long time since they've included more than one non-makeup product. Because I feel like they're kind of afraid to have a backlash again of, hey, why are you putting so much skin products again? We want makeup, we want makeup, we want makeup. Because there was a year where it was all skincare products and it's just like bombarding you every month. Can you please give me something else? Because I haven't even tried the moisturizer that you gave me last month and here comes another another moisturizer like what? So I was really surprised that they are starting to put more than one skincare products right here. I mean I'm not complaining but just don't do it over and over again okay? I'd rather have makeup every month. So that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. My face looks very fally and wintry just because of the lips. It's giving me my my lashes are keep sticking. Thank you guys so much again for watching. I hope this video was fun. I loved making makeup tutorials out of my BoxyCharm and using other products that is out of the box for the month. I've always been a fan of Brio Geo. I mean, even if I won't be able to try this, I'm pretty sure this is a good one because I have a lot of their hair products and I love them thank you guys again so much for watching if you haven't followed me on my social media accounts everything is leandra on my snapchat my facebook my instagram and my twitter dear and if you haven't subscribed yet please do subscribe click the thumbs up if you did like this video and comment down below what you think and mama will see you on her next video bye